Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I am super excited to show you this wig guys. Just look at the lace. I'm literally comparing it to my forehead right here and you don't know where it starts or stops. So this is a Yaki wig. I've reviewed their hair so many times and I just can't get enough with it. So this wig comes pre-plucked, pre-bleached, just pre-everything. You really don't have to do anything. So I'm showing you how clear the lace is that you can clearly see my hair throughout. I've got a very low, very low hairline, guys. So I had to do at the end, the um, what the start, the bold cap method instead. So as you can see, this is like, I'm sure it's my fourth time doing this. I'm still trying to get the hang of it, guys. I've seen loads of people like do tights and I'm going to try that way instead. But I didn't want any glue this time, literally just none at all. So I just used got to be just to try and spray that down and keep it down and then use my hairspray and put down my band as well just to make sure that it's got that extra security as well so yeah that's literally what i did it took me i'd say five minutes to do the board cap as you can see like i <laughs> i need to get the hang of this because at the start like yeah it's just not it as you can see the front is just not given as well but we got there in the end um, my hair is literally covered so which that's the best part right here for some reason i don't know if i had an open wound but oh my days it was burning my scalp i don't know what that was but my scalp was on fire at that part there. So I don't know if I cut myself on accident. I don't know. But yeah, I'm using this spray this time. I'll list it down, down below as I can't remember what spray I used. But I literally just spray it on. And then I go in with a comb. And then what you're going to want to do is spray some more on top of it, guys. It won't make it all hard or anything. It's fine. And then what you do is go in with the comb as well and just brush it through. And then dry it as soon as possible. And make sure, guys, you do one side to begin with don't be going all crazy and doing the whole wig because that's when you're going to find it very very difficult well my, me personally anyways i'm not that advanced yet so i do the same thing to the other side and that's literally it and then i cover it with elastic band and hair um use my hair dryer and literally dry that all off and yeah that's it Now, as you can see, the parting of this wig is six inches, guys. Look at how much parting you can get. So doing a side part, doing just a whole lot to it is possible. The The, the parting is absolutely just long and stunning. And I just oh, I just love this wig. It's actually one of my top favorites. I'm not really a fan of yaki texture. There's a mirror in the background. <laughs> but this texture is just stunning, guys. Like it's made me fall in love with yaki textures. So I was trying to do some status keys for baby hairs. I'm not going to lie. I am getting a tiny bit better, but again, I'm not no professional. So going with a hot comb um, and just going in and basically try and make it as flat as possible, but it does need straining. But look at that hairline, everyone. Just this is definitely a beginner friendly wig. Like, honestly, they have so many textures of this wig as well. So it's not just yucky you can get. You can get straight. You can get body wave. But yeah, I just went under my makeup and straightening it out. And that's literally it. So I hope you do like it, guys. The length, the texture, just everything about it is stunning. The softness is absolutely amazing. I will definitely be bringing this to my holiday. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, then comment down below. And also the links will be below. Mm -hmm.